The most difficult decision we have to face when we're treating patients with hepatitis C is do we start treatment now with the very good drugs we have available or do we defer treatment in the hope of something better? There are two ways of looking at this. The first is from the patient perspective. And from the patient perspective, it's very important that they have a choice and they understand the choice. I think for patients with advanced hepatitis C fibrosis, there probably is a very limited choice. And I think most patients with advanced disease should go on treatment today rather than waiting in the hope of something better. For patients with earlier disease, they have a choice. The choice is to go for treatment today with some very effective, very potent drugs with very high rates of response, or wait perhaps for something that's a little more patient friendly that may come along in a few years time. And I think the right thing to do is to allow the patient to make the choice. But we also have to look at the wider service provision and societal aspects. This is a virus that is transmitted. So if we treat patients with hepatitis C, they won't pass the virus on. So I think there's a very strong case for treating patients early in the course of disease to stop transmission. It's also, of course, important to bear in mind that you can't just turn on and turn off a service. It takes a long time to build up a hepatitis C service. You need the infrastructure, the virology, the nursing support staff. We can't just stop treating patients for a couple of years and then start again with very large numbers. So I think there is a danger to warehousing large numbers of patients. On the other hand, it's important that patients have a choice. So in my own clinical practice, we talk to patients about the options and we allow them to make the choice. The majority of patients with advanced disease go on to treatment and the minority of patients with mild disease choose treatment today. But we're always keen to treat patients who want treatment and we're keen to maintain the service and stop this virus spreading in the community.